Hey there, TBs. Before I do my 40 ounce review, I'd like to give three shout outs Warpuddy666, Black Metal Troy322, and JVega419. Check out all three of these guys, they're really nice. They're all into metal music. Uh, Warpuddy, he's also into gaming too, so check him out about that if you're, if you're a gamer like me. And Black Metal Troy, I checked him out on Blog TV. He was there with Big Stid watching the game, drinking, you know, having fun with your friends and everything. So he's real cool in my book. Uh, he was also there playing music and you know playing Slayer and all the other cool stuff. So yeah, that that was actually quite fun. And uh, I really gotta get a webcam for Blog TV. I, I really want to get into that stuff. Uh, and Jay Vega four one nine, he kills bottles pretty quick. He the last and uh, the last one I saw him, I think he did it in like seven or eight minutes. Uh, he kills them pretty quick. Not like a OD. OD uh, can kill him in about five or six minutes. So yeah, but of course he does that. <laughs> thing you know and that 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 just sounds so funny to me every time he does it you know like what the fuck <laughs> alright um and today's malt liquor you can already tell because it's in a dark brown bottle it's Schlitz malt liquor 40 ounce also known as blue bowl or original malt liquor so yeah uh it's the new one with the stripe on the top I should have got it when it was the uh, older label but I don't remember what that one looked like um, and the one thing I really do like is the cap. It's a nice dark gray with the blue bowl on there and everything. It just looks really cool. And the great thing about having these dark bottles is that it keeps sunlight out, makes your malt liquor taste better. So yeah, that's actually quite a good thing. And it's also 5.9% alcohol by volume. And well, let's get it cracking. Uh, I also brought a glass because I want to see what it looks like. Because, you know, it's in a dark bottle. You can't really see what it looks like. Although... If you're a malt liquor drinker, you should know what malt liquor looks like. So, let's get cracking. Oh, yeah. Oh, a little bit of smoke. That's cool. Yeah, you can already smell it. And, you know, just barely put your nose over it. And you can just smell it. You know, it, it's some strong stuff. So, well, before I pour it on the glass, let's take a gulp. Actually, that's not bad. It doesn't really have a really extremely malt liquor taste, like Colt 45 or anything. It has more of a of a foamy or uh, zesty beer taste. Actually, it, it tastes more like a lager. So let's see what it looks like. I won't pour it all in there, but. Let's see what that looks like. Man, it sure does give you some head, you know, about about two fingers worth. Uh, slow, small bubbles going up. It smells slightly different when you pour it out. Man, that carbonation just keeps on going. So, let's see what that tries. Again, there's always that tastes completely different when I tasted it out of the bottle. So, I guess when you pour it into the uh, glasses, it always mixes up a little bit more. So yeah, if you think it tastes better or something in the bottle, try it. Try it in a glass. But of course, you don't really need a glass because, <laughs> well, look at the size of the glass that that you get. <laughs> so yeah, that tastes really different. It's really nice and smooth, slightly foamy. Not bad. Well, let's keep going. Excuse me, y'all. Hmm. I tasted a hint of something right there when I took that big gulp. Uh, they might... To me, it kind of tastes like something citrusy. So they might have used... Well, I don't think... People don't use orange pills when they make malt liquor. But, 
It might have had a, a squeeze of orange or lemon or something in here. So yeah, but but that's just me tasting it. Y'all might taste something different. Excuse me, y'all. Hmm. Man, that just tastes wonderful. It goes it goes down really smooth. I, I that's one key factor that I love about malt liquor is that it will always go down smooth. I mean, there there are some beers that are kind of, you know, twingy and they're kind of hard to drink. Man, this one's actually easy to drink. For some reason, they're, they're, this one just seems easy to drink. Maybe there's something slightly different about shut malt liquor. Maybe they did. Maybe they meant to make it like this, where where you could just drink it all day long and you wouldn't feel anything harsh. You know. I'm already past the halfway point. Of course, that's kind of hard to tell in a dark bottle. Excuse me, y'all. Mm. Oh yeah, one other thing. Always make sure that you eat something before you drink one of these. And of course, I'm drinking it at around noon, so I won't be messed up when I go to work tonight. <laughs> That's always the key point, you know. <laughs> uh, so, eat something like a good, you know, a good double, you know, double decker sandwich or something. Uh, something that you know has some feeling to it. You know, uh, don't just eat something like a salad and expect that to absorb some of the some of the alcohol. So yeah, eat something like some mashed potatoes. That, I think those would absorb a lot of the alcohol. And uh, I also bought some other malt liquor. That was on sale for 89 cents. Yes. Do believe me, 89 cents. They're not 40 ounce bottles, though. They're 18 ounce bottles. But I bought them for one reason. They had uh, Billy D. Williams on there. So, yeah. Uh, you're going to see those next time. And uh, the reason why they're so cheap, well, for one, they're 18 ounces. And two, you can win a trip to meet Billy D. Williams in Los Angeles or something. So yeah, that's going to be kind of cool if I do win that, but I don't know if I would ever want to go there. <laughs> but, hey, it's Billy D. Williams. And of course I'll do a review on it too. It's going to be a quick one. <laughs> so yeah, almost there. Getting real close. Yeah, yeah, y'all probably still can't see it. <laughs> All right, last few gulps. There we go. There, there's the spot. That one tasted wonderful. That's the sweet spot. It's always at the bottom. That, that's where it really tastes malty and it just changes flavor like that, you know, it, it'll just taste completely different. And I bet if I pour the rest out of this on a glass, it tastes even stranger. So yeah, but I'm not going to do that. I always got to drink it out of the bottle. <laughs> Another left book foam. <laughs> All right, Schlitz malt liquor, great tasting, uh, pretty cheap price. I bought it for a dollar eighty-nine. I know that's a little high, but 
still it's a pretty good deal because there are some places where they do charge over two dollars for a 40 and uh, well that was my review I hope you enjoyed it I'm gonna go clean this bottle out and put it on my shelf so yeah uh, this is gonna be bottle number lucky seven so yeah so hope you all enjoyed that and see y'all next time